Hey guys, so today's tutorial is on how to deal with metal centers um, and uh, if you're watching this is because you probably tried it in Avogadro and it didn't really work. Uh, so if we look at just the hydrated version of iron, you dry it out in Avogadro and then you try to play around with different force fields that they have. Um, well, it gives you something like this and Clearly, that doesn't look right. So, what what can you do? Uh, I discovered this website. It's uh, by Chem Axon. They have a like a normal software that you can download and use for two years for free, and then you have to buy a license. Or you can, if you don't really need it that often, you can just use their own online like demo version, which works pretty fine for me at least. And if you need something more advanced, well then maybe you can purchase um, their software. So you can just Google Marvin Sketch online or something like that, and you will get to this website. And it's basically an online um, molecular editor, and it deals with certain things that Avogadro doesn't really do that well and Avogadro does other things that uh, Marvin Sketch can't really do that well so they kind of complement each other well my so I want to show you the good and the bad stuff about this Marvin website and um, let's start with example number one um, copper surrounded by four chlorine atoms if you dry it in Avogadro, you will get something like this. This is one of the few uh, examples that actually work. Uh, and uh, so I just want to show you on this easy example how to deal with this um, editor. I can't really make it bigger. Can I? No, there. I hope you can see. So on the right side panel, uh, you have the different atoms that you can click on. And on top, there's a periodic table, which opens in a different window. And on the left side here, you have the different types of bonds. So let's choose copper, click in the middle, and then chlorine all around. And it draws as much as HCl. So now we'll make a bond between chlorines and copper. And now I want to sort of clean up this structure to make it look like something reasonable. Then I go into structure, clean 3D, and I select clean in 3D. If you play around more with the software, you might want to choose one of those, like clean methods, but let's stay with the basics. So now as you see my structure has changed and if I want to visualize it in 3D I go into view open Marvin space. That should open yet another window um, and uh, it's sort of too big and I want it there. All right. So this is my molecule as you can see it's the expected shape tetrahedral everything is great everything's wonderful so if I'm happy with this I can go into file uh, save as and I can save it as let's say I don't know a mall or something like that because uh, I don't think that um, the Marvin MRV uh, extension is recognized by Avogadro so if I want to continue using Avogadro let's say for creating my input then that's not going to work. I can save into mall uh, as a like a mall file or if you get back to your um, initial window here you can go um, save as and save it as let's say PDB that's for sure recognized by Gaussian or as XYZ file. I prefer the PDB, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that was the easy example. Now let's do the platinum complex. And you'll see that, well, sometimes not everything works. So now I select platinum, I click, and I have NH3 and two chlorines. 
So it's a four coordinated platinum. And you may or may not know, but it's actually not tetrahedral, it's flat, it's a uh, square planar. So y you would hope that the program would know it, but it doesn't. So here I want the chlorines to lose their hydrogen, so I just do a normal bond. But here, if I do the normal bond, then my um, NH3 will lose the H, and this is not what I want, so I have to select a specific type of bonds. It's called the coordinate. If you go into the bonds, and it's the last option, so coordinate. It's not a, a just a line, it's an actual arrow. So I go coordinate platinum to nitrogen here and to nitrogen here. So this is my molecule, and now again I go into structure, clean 3D clean in 3D and you would hope that it would be flat but it's not <laughs> kind of disappoint. Uh, so there you go there's a 3D structure um, as you noticed Marvin space does not draw hydrogens by default but you can go into high hide or show hydrogens and look for yourself so unfortunately the software does not think for you and you have to still use your brain very sad but oh well so be careful don't trust the computer uh, so now the final example is iron h2o which we'll use to make a structure in marvin and then go back to avogadro and create an input just to show you what it sort of could look like so again i'm going to erase all this uh, we'll use iron Oxygens five six, and now again I use the coordinate arrow. Structure clean three D. Let's verify that I have a nice octahedral, and I do. Wonderful. So now I will click on File, Save As, and I will save it in what is this crazy folder? I will save it as. Oh gosh. Alright, uh, so. Call it iron H two O six, and I will save it as uh, PDB. That's not really important. You really don't like this folder. Go back, please. Well, it didn't like my naming or something. I don't know. Anyway, so now I'm just going to turn this down. Uh, okay, let's open my new molecule. It's going to be unnamed. Okay, well. So open with... Yeah, I got a new computer and it's like so slow because I've been so eager on to adding new things to it that now it's slower than my other one. Yay, apps. All right. Um, it's coming along. Sorry. I was hoping that would be a short tutorial, but hey, let's hang around for some time. This is not going to happen. Oh, okay, there we go. Yes, we made it. All right, so this is what it looks like. And as you see, there is no hydrogens. And if I want to have something that looks like water, then I should probably add some. So for this, I need to go into the building tool. 
select um, oxygen and I have clicked on this adjust hydrogens that will do it automatically but as soon as I start clicking on it I notice that oh wait there's actually a bond so my clicking around won't help me that much so I have to deselect the adjust hydrogens and do them manually and then as you probably have guessed I will need to optimize the geometry and this is where the interesting part is so I'm done with my hydrogens and now uh, I don't know if you remember from the first tutorials there's this arrow button here that lets you select a specific uh, atom or several atoms or bonds or whatever so now I will select uh, iron and all the bonds that lead to oxygens because these are the ones that I want to preserve as they are since the um, force field in Avogadro doesn't know how to deal with them. I want to just optimize the hydrogens and the waters, not the oxygen. So I'm going to select those to keep them the way they are. And maybe to be safe, I can also, also select the oxygens so that they're not moving. Um, so I'm clicking on this control button to select several um, atoms. Okay, now we're ready and I go into extensions, molecular mechanics, and then you click on fix selected atoms. Done. And now I can do my optimization. So I go into the auto optimization settings and can click on start and something should happen, but it won't. What if we do this one? There you go. So G chemical one is just for the positioning of my hydrogens sort of to be make them happier all right so this is it and now I can deselect everything and this is what it sort of will look like right uh, from here you can go on and do your normal uh, Gaussian or gameless whatever you're using input Right, make sure that your um, charges and multiplicity make sense. Uh, this complex should be what minus three, right? Plus three. Sorry, I'm tired today. Um, so there, you're done. Uh, of course, molecular mechanics. Don't remember. Don't forget. This is just. An approximate draft and uh, for a better result you'll have to optimize it using something more um, advanced so there you go um, it's Marvin sketch uh, that helps you deal with um, metal centers but don't forget to check your structure because this is not perfect and this is it <laughs>